There may be a time when you'll have to flash your Wise Cam's firmware manually. Maybe you can't get it to work after an automatic update. You might also want to use older firmware to access unsupported features like RTSP. Either way, here's proof of how to actually do it, because as we all know, sometimes online text guides can be inaccurate. But first, there are a few important things you must consider when doing this. First, you'll need a small micro SD card, 32 gigabytes or lower, formatted to FAT32. I tried a 64 gigabyte card a while back and it just didn't work. Anyway, second, you'll want to start with a clean slate. That means doing a factory reset, but basically you remove your cam's SD card, then hold the setup button for 10 seconds. Okay, so now you have your SD card ready and a factory reset, WiseCam V3. The next thing you want to do is to go to this Wise support page to see the older Wise firmware. Wise only keeps the last few firmware files on the site for security reasons. So if you're hunting for a specific firmware file, you'll have to do some searching online. After you've downloaded your preferred firmware, if you're on Windows, open the zip file using Windows Explorer. Then copy and paste the .bin file to your micro SD card. Make sure it's in the root of your SD card. That means that it's not inside any folder. After that, eject your micro SD card from your computer and power off the Wise Cam V3. Remove the weather sealing bit to make the next part easier, because now comes the slightly tricky part. You're going to have to hold the setup button, plug in your USB cable, and keep holding the setup button for three to six seconds until the light is solid purple, meaning the red and blue LEDs are on at the same time. Anyway, once it turns purple, release the button. It should take three to four minutes for the camera to reboot and change LED status. Wait a while, and you'll see that the status changes from purple to blinking red and then you can set up your camera. Watch our video here for more details, but after that, I'll go to the firmware version page to confirm that it's the one we flashed. And our manual firmware flashing for the WiseCam V3 is successful. Leave a like if this video helped you out, and check out our next smart home security camera video here.